Okay, okay. I think we're about ready to go. Here, let me fix that. All right. I think we're all good. Actually, wait a minute. Um, did I turn the volume down? No, I did not. Let me get my phone going. And then we'll continue on chapter six. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, I'm going to swap it over. I'm just going to say this now. I will have to cut it off. Uh, probably about three hours, three and a half. I got yard work to do. I got some yard work to do later. But I will try to play as much as I can. Oh, and there's Miss Mouse. And because she's the optional party member, she's on the other side. <laughs> with Bowser and Peach. She's completely optional. She's not with the rest of the crew. <laughs> But anyway, let's continue chapter six. 27 hours, 27 and a half hours. Uh, definitely, if I wasn't talking to everyone, I would have gotten this done probably half that time, but still, I'm enjoying myself. Let's see what's going on in day two. Oh, but, RDM issue five. Oh, wait, I forgot to do my <clears throat> last time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. After Chapter 5, we took care of some troubles in between, and then we fought Prince Mush for the title, losing the championship, because Prince Mush cheats. Then we started Chapter 6 and got through Day 1 of a murder, not a murder mystery, a, a, a mystery involving food. But there's still a threat on board. Can we make it to Poshley Heights, to the Crystal Star in time? Find out. as eh, soon. Anyway, RDM Issue 5. <clears throat> Rope work today. <clears throat> Local mystic Mer uh, Merlovely was taken to the hospital today, followed quickly by hordes of concerned fans. Luckily, according to a spokesperson for the hospital, Mer Merlovely suffered from nothing more than a severe case of indigestion caused by a wild binge on eight mushroom steaks. The divine diviner ex exclaimed that her aura was brimming with, with the power of steak. But this reporter can't help but wonder why she failed to predict the gastro uh, gastrointentional adventure in the first place. <clears throat> Shop reporter go. This time, let's head to Keyhole Hall Galleria. We are proud to taste the entrepreneurial. God, I can't speak. I can never speak. That's normal for me. Uh, spirit shown by the managerial team who brought free commerce to this deserted island. I was really wanting to do something that had never been done, gushed the unseekable property, uh, proprietor of the for and former uh, fight fan. Call me the Invisible Shop Shopmaster from now on. I'm 100% serious. Print that. We, will, we wish him all the success that he could grab with two hands and wrestle to the mat. Listen up, rookies, because here's another intermediate level of recipe. Today's dish is the single-serving peach tart. Take a peachy peach, add cake mix, stir and bake. Try that at try that at tea time, rookies. Thanks for reading the best rag in the land. See you next issue. So yeah, a peach tart, peach and cake mix. Good to know. Good morning. So any chance you've seen my shell earrings anywhere? No, still haven't. Still haven't seen them. Hello. It is a good feeling day. Isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the, the it will make the day mad. Oi ho 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 ho! I think we're supposed to just go to Pennington. Oh wait! Oh. You know what? Let's hold off on Pennington. Let's see how let's see how the uh, gold bombington is doing. Let's see how the bomb family is doing. Let's see. Good morning, Mister. Thanks for the autograph yesterday. Little Bub sure has has been in high spirits since yesterday. I wonder why he's so happy. Top of the morning to you, Gonzales. I'm afraid you saw us at our arguing worst yesterday. By our arguing worst yesterday, I feel rather ashamed. It seems like they argue every day, based on that. Actually, does the conductor say anything? 
Hello, Detective Mario. I saw no one suspicious during the night. We will be stopping at Riverside Station today. At around dusk, I believe. That's going to take some time. But let's see what's going on in here. Ah, my dear Luigi. Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Uh, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job, at the least! Does he work for the Pianta Syndicate? <laughs> now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it is an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with a calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize every everyone here in a sticky yet yummy cell. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine the va facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Well, you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. The train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, rudimentary my dear Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! Pennington, you've done it again. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress at, at, and the lady in cabin too? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady, too, lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects has the nitro honey syrup, they could make it this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. There is, there is but one option, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the subject before the statue plan. Okay, yeah, this is thing. What do you say? Oh, not good, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sh I'll be sacked for sure. Probably gonna be put in an oil drum with some cement, be thrown into the ocean. That's probably what's gonna happen to them. I'm assuming he's working for Beyonce Syndicate, and Frankie ain't gonna be too happy about it. Did you see that zip toad uh, come to last night? Come to last night's dinner? I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they are. You know what they say about the camera, it makes you lose 20 pounds. Or is it gain 20 pounds? I forget. So I guess the camera also makes you more attractive? Maybe? I don't know. Hey, morning Mario. Have you been to the dining car yet today? I can't. I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew. It was like a bad cow uh, chowdery nightmare. But thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now. Isn't life weird? No, Zip Toad was at the... No, nah, nothing suspicious about Zip Toad yet. Let's go see what Toodles has to say. Well, hello there, you you cute cuddly bear of man. You... You are delightful, dear. Have you found my gold ring? Don't grow desperate now. I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. Okay, she basically just says the same thing. Let's see what Zip Toad has to say. Oh, where is he? It's something very important and complicated. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to take this back to Pennington. It's a very important clue. We shall find this dastardly deed, uh, th this criminal, before, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I tried to say words and I fail. Anyway. Let's go back to Pennington. Be like, Pennington, there's a clue here. I'm paying to be like, ah, I knew I'd find a clue. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? 
What is this paper? Hmm. What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, th that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, y yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin one, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi. Find that zip toad. Maybe you didn't need to bring it back? But maybe you had to, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is like a gold bulb situation where you had to go back and give, get that information before you can actually find zip toad. I don't know. Or if you could just find the paper and be like, I know how to find Zipto, let's just find him, you know? So I think he's still in his room. And we get to Vivian. I might be thinking step three. Yeah, I'm thinking ahead. Okay, I'm thinking ahead. Nothing. Alright. Let's see what anyone else... I guess, I guess we're supposed to find out if anyone else has seen him. So let's take a look. Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We'll be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Okay, nothing from you. Zip Toad also has no reason to go up here. I guess we'll see if Toodles has anything to say, but I don't think she does. No, you don't have anything to say. Actually, he might... Oh, you know what? He may not be in his room. Do you have anything to say? Morning, Mario. Have you been to a dining car today? So, okay, okay, no, you say the same thing. Okay. I remember we're supposed to use Vivian to hide. But I think I... I think I'm misremembering which room. I know this is the ghost, but maybe he says something. Seems like there's someone in your cabin. I heard some rustling sounds in there a minute ago. There's the info. Talk to the ghost. My cabin now. Oh my, could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. Okay, we don't pick it up, that's fine. Check the drawer, nothing in here. How about we just leave, quote unquote. Aha! Zhao! Zhao! Where did you come from? You won't be catching me that easy, guy! Easily, guy. I usually just hang out here. Youch! He jumped on me. It's your fault. So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All while pilfering, pilfering things from others to aid in your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as I deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Cur curses! I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station, too. Yes, you played a daring and ingen uh, ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend. And the good people on this train are now safe. For indubitably, no one escapes from this un improbably large brain. Uh, <clears throat> well, yes. In any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. <sighs> Get the briefcase back. And the gold ring. And the shell earrings. 
Ah! My precious briefcase! Is is the natural honey syrup safe? Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank the stars it's safe! Now I won't get the sack! Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductive deductions. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at the at Riverside Station. Uh, it's like five o'clock. I I think I just noticed how like the stars are on the front of the train. Probably referencing the crystal stars themselves. Probably tied to, you know, the deep history, you know what I mean? Deep lore. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you could hold me? No way. Belden would flip if I let that happen. This whole zip toe thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers. Dupless. Belden's plan to goofify uh, Mario didn't exactly work. So I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to build him. See, see you, suckers. Wanna go outside for a second? The exit is in the first car. Well, before we go explore, let's go deliver the earrings and the and, and the ring back. Come on. Welcome, welcome! Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings! Oh, there they are! These are my earrings! Thank you so much! Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. Ooh, a star piece! You are, like, the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. I can only think of two... Well, actually, no. I can think of three other uh, people that would fit that bill. But, you know, nice... I don't know. How nice is Luigi, you know? I don't know. He keeps crashing into things, so I don't know. I don't know if he's the nicest person. Have you found my gold ring, you mister, uh, mystery sniffing master? Yes, that is definitely the ring I've lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. This is merely a trifle, but pl uh, but please take this as my earnest thanks. 30 coins. Okay. That's something. And do take care. I mean, that's something, I guess. If you really need 30 more coins. Let's go take a look around Riverside Station. It's so super cool looking. I want to drive it right now. So Lubov really likes trains, does he? Or does one buy a train? Uh-oh. What do we do? Someone lifted the draw bridge. The train can't leave the station like this. I saw some suspicious looking shadowy people wearing hats going to the station. They must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. That switch hasn't been used in so long. I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe. Oh, well, now what are we gonna do? Uh, yeah, I'll help you out. I need to remember to say no in these Mario games. You get extra dialogue usually. Really? That would be super. No time to get us. Uh, no time to get started like the present. So here's the station's entrance key. Oh, thank you so much. Who? Wait. Have? Who are you? It's a Riverside worker. He works here. Okay. He stands here all day to ensure the train's safety. Wow, I would hate having to work in a place like this. There's nothing around here. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, what does he do? Okay, Battle Master. Is there anything new that's worth knowing? Soft Stomp, okay. 
Okay. Poison mushrooms. No, I don't think there's anything to know. Not that I'm aware of. Chet Rippo. Okay, that this might be useful information. Vivian, Bob, Marie, Miss Mouse, powering up partners, bigger stages, shaking up the stage, types of audience members. These can be useful. Kind of, maybe. Yeah. Nothing else. Alright, what do you guys think? Oof. I've been cooped up in the in their breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. My dear, ah, my dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a, a fake zip toad, he was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. I could have questioned him about all of that building business. This is Riverside Station. We stopped to refuel. There's a uh, quaint drawbridge here from when the pre uh, pleasure bo boats closed the canal. But it hasn't been used since the canal was dried up and turned into a pasture. That's a Riverside Station worker. This is where they refuel the Excess Express. I wonder what it uses uh, for fuel anyway. Probably golden oil or something. Anything back here? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. Uh, before I go in, so... Yeah, it's called Riverside Station because there used to be a river here. Okay. Now that makes sense. I don't think I ever caught that. Well, let's go flip the switch so we can continue on our train journey. We need to get to Poshley Heights. Hmm. All right. We're inside Riverside Station. It's an old brick building with natural warmth. It's it's antique elevator is totally charming too. I am am I am in love with that thing. You think it works though? I'm not that fond of getting trapped in elevators. Let's go. Before we go down the elevator, what's over here? We're inside Riverside Station. This place has been out of use for a while, I think. I love these solitary light bulbs hanging from the ceiling. It's so shabby chic. What? Oh, okay, there's a switch. We gotta turn into tube. Become the tube I was always meant to be. Back to tube. We don't have the key. It's probably up here. Actually, is that... Oh, uh, no. Can't read the the sign. It's just decoration. Oh. I love it. I love this version. This is great. This is a great remix. I love it. Probably my favorite. Alright, this is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although, I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway. HP is 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. They swoop, in, they swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're shocked, you'll get a shock. And they'll absorb any lightning attacks you throw their way. So don't do that. See what he's gonna do. Oh wow, I get extra defense. Okay, he charged himself up with electricity. However, if I am correct, because I have zap tap, it can it it cancels out. It cancels out when you have uh, zapped out. Because you're both electrified, so it, it just gets neutralized. Alright. Very simple. 
Honestly, I don't know if any of the partners could defeat them in one hit, so I'd probably just go with, like, Vivian and try to burn them. I don't really need the honey syrup. I'll grab it anyway. I can always swap it out. Or not. Get rid of the dried mushroom. I don't need that. This is the other side of the big clock. Lots of endlessly moving gears. A lonely clock counting out the endless progression of hours. Heard by no one. Dang. I guess we just gotta time our jumps. That's on me. I did not wait. I was not patient. I don't think there's a way to just stop them, so I think you just gotta time it right. I don't think I was gonna make it. Huh. Unless I just keep going. I could try going down the elevator. But actually, I don't know if I can right now. Ah, uh, almost. Hold on, I will give it another attempt, but then I'll try the elevator. Okay. Let's try the elevator. I might be missing something. I forget how I'm supposed to do that, if there's something else to it. Can't go in there. Can I go down the elevator? That's the main question. Guess we need an elevator key. Okay, so we can't go in there yet. So I was going the correct way. I kind of thought I was correct there. But, how do I get through? There's no... I can't slow down time. Let's see. If I can't slow down time, do I just need to time it? Ah, dang it. Probably had it, too. Probably could have made it. Uh, what? Oh, what happened? What did I bump into? Uh, I think I... <sighs> Damn it. Try that again. Oh, what? Uh, come on. I don't remember having this much trouble. With this. Let's just wait. Okay, now we'll try it. What? I, <clears throat> I overshot it. You know what? Hold on, I'm trying something. Getting Yoshi out here. Let's just wait a bit. And what I should have done is when I got on that third one, jump on Yoshi and then hover across. No, not yet. <laughs> I bumped it to the side. Try this again. Hang out down here. Hang on. And they all spin. Ah, uh, that almost worked. Almost worked. And I don't think that's gonna stick, so... Okay, hold on. I think 
I need to back up to green. Okay, there, there's a pattern here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay attention. So, there's that. Go to green. Go to pink. Or red. Back to green. Back to red. Then blue. Okay, I see. I see what's happening. It only took me 10 minutes to figure it out. Yeah, I can make it through this game that's uh, meant for kids. Uh, let's see. I already have an ice storm. I can get rid of this fresh juice. No, I can get rid of the Volt Shroom. I don't need that. That I don't need. Let's see. Is there something back here? Star piece. Alright. I'm gonna stand here. Here, go here, and jump over here. We get coops. There we go. We got the station key. Now we can go... Not to the elevator. Right. Turn into tube. Come on. There we go. Go here. Let's open this door and let's continue on. Yes. Uh, before I can, uh, before I can look at the sights, let's take care of these pokies. So luckily, because of spike shield, I can jump on these guys. Get out of here. And I think I'm gonna need to swap to... Actually, would Bobbery work? Does he get that close? Hold on. There we go. Yeah, he's stronger. So that works out way better. HP drain. I don't... Actually, there is a use there. I think I'd rather... I think I'm gonna get rid of the mushroom. Because it basically works the same thing as a mushroom. Yeah, I wanna jump on him. There go. There's one. So, I could jump and take one out right now. Uh... No matter what, I'm taking one out right now. The other one's just gonna have to deal with it. Is there a way I could KO it without it attacking? There is. Goombella? Rally Wink for 4 FP. We give Mario an extra turn. Meaning Mario can get rid of this guy. And that's why you promote Goombella to max. Because when the partners can't deal with it, Mario can. I've tried... Why? No. Just use it. Fine. I don't care. Alright. There's something here. Yeah. A Thunder Rage. I have... I already have two of these. HP drain. Fine, I'm, I'm getting rid of the... The fresh juice. And I'm already full on items again. Shine Sprite. There we go. Come on. Where's Huff and Puff at? 
So, again, no one can take out either of these two on this turn. It's too bad that uh, I didn't jump on them. I could have saved the F. The FP. I could have saved the FP. Again with the dried shroom? Man, this place, if you really need dried shrooms, you could just come here. Why didn't I jump? Why didn't I jump? Okay. I am gonna have Goombella attack the puff. Not get the KO. Maybe I should have swapped and get Bobbery out here. But I was thinking of that. I did get the timing right. Oh well. We made it. It's fine. What? Two, three more battles? We'll get a level up? Which means more badges. Alright. There we go. Come on. All right. So, while Rally Wink will not let me get rid of everyone. So, let's try to go with a different option. Let's see how much damage Bob on Blast does. Eight damage. It's a big FP spend, but one more battle and we should get that back. I don't need another one. I already have three. Maple syrup. Ah, I'm running out of space. Um, I could get rid of the cook tea. I'll use it. I don't need Koopa Tea. Oh wait, there's something uh, you can do. Oh, there's a Thunder Rage behind that thing. You needed Flurry to get this door open, but I think you can... I think you're able to get rid of the rest of these. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you want to keep going. You want to keep this going. Oh, a spite pouch. I... No, I'm not going to keep it. A lot of items here. Come on. Super Shroom? I, again, I don't... I don't need it. Ice Storm? Wow. Let's just see how many I can get rid of. Okay, no. So, there is that badge up there. Let's go and grab it. I think... We just need to... Ah, there it is. Become tube. HP plus. Do I need it? Not really. Let's get Goombella back here. Ah, uh, these guys. Let's get rid of them. Okay, we need to get rid of them while I can. 
Oh, hold on. Okay, normal jump, the spiky paragumba, or parabuzzy. And because they're on the ground, they're not paras anymore. I forgot to tell the normal variants. Back can keep the steeple. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. And it's a max HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. Like other buzzies, firing explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip them over and drop his uh, defense to zero. I'm sure you know how to do this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. So let's go ahead and do a... Normal jump should be enough, right? No, not enough. Bingo! Who needs a level up now? I mean... Getting more badge points is always nice. Let's save... Actually, I'm gonna level up anyway. Let's... Let's rally... Rally wink. And if I power jump, which I should have done sooner... It still does four damage. Never mind. Wasted that. You know what? Instead of wasting another turn. Go! Get out of here. I could have done that sooner. But we got our FP back, so it's all right. And I can only see us getting more badges. I, we saw it like briefly went to FP for a second though there, but I made sure we got more badges. All right, hold on. Let's get rid of you first. So no matter what I do. Someone is going to attack. There is someone that's going to attack. Or, hold on. Stampede. Let's see how this goes. Okay. I had the right idea. However, you can see, because he has defense, it didn't work. The Stampede does work on the Pokey. And I didn't time it right. Oh no! Ugum's poisoned! Whatever shall I do? I think I know the best thing I can do. Oh. Hey, bingo! Not that it matters. Alright, well... I guess we'll... Get rid of this guy. If only there was a spike guard for partners. There we go. Because I'm gonna be honest, if you were doing like a no Mario run, I don't know how you're supposed to, defe uh, to beat them with just partners. There's, a, there's an enemy I'm like forgetting about. Can't carry more items, let's just use it on Ookum. Let's see. Uh, no, we don't want to go down there. We gotta become two. I think we want to go left. Oh, never mind. No. Oh, and there's a badge we gotta make sure to get. So, 
Jump. That's something. Jump. We got power up, defense down. Uh, yeah, I think I wanted to go left. There we go, yes. Super mushroom, don't... I, I, I don't... I don't need it. I, I actually don't need it. Let's go. Sadly, if I just try to go with a, like, multi-bounce, it will just bring him onto the ground and not do anything. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna normal jump this one. Then I'm just gonna... Gulp, actually. There we go, we got rid of two. I wonder if I needed to gulp it. Maybe I could have saved the jump. Now we'll ground pound. Get out of here. I'm using up a lot of FP. The flower finder is helping. Might as well just use it. Oh, uh, badges, that's right. Okay. First, let's see. I could equip Power Bounce. I could put another HP plus. I'm gonna keep Jump Man. If I really wanted to undo Defend Plus, I could. And just get another power boost. No, power, uh, don't need those. Close call, no. Happy heart, no. Pretty flower, HP drain, heart finder. I could put that back in, I guess. I have super peel. Spike shield, timing tuner, chill out. I'm not really finding anything that I like. I'll put heart finder back in. I don't know if I'll need it, but there's not really anything that I really like. Let's see. Come here. I haven't been have been using Gumbella. This is the Riverside Station Records Room. They follow all station business here. Or at least I think they do. Yep, those are probably files. Why is there normal Goombas here? These are just regular ass Goombas. Power bounce. First strike works. Because they're regular Goombas. So, one. One, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And all this just for a staircase. Man, it's a good thing, like, I have a hammer, or I can jump good, because I don't know how other people are supposed to do that. Coops. Uh, Yay, more shine sprites. Get Goombella back out here, I've been forgetting to tattle. Ah, the office. This is Riverside Station office. But there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Hey, and now that I think about it, why would they put an office down here anyway? Or was it not? Or was I not supposed to bring that up? 
Yes! Ultra Boots! I'm even more powerful now. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. It's nice to see you again. Way to get the Ultra Boots. Now your jump power, jump attack power will go way, way up. You have no idea. And you can use the new jump technique too. Let's practice it right now. It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it. Just hold down A and rotate the left stick to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump. Remember though, you need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? The spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right to move along the pipe and press B to let go of the pipe. There we go. Wow, way to go, Mario. That was very well done. Are you clear on the controls? Okay, now you master the spring jump. With the spring jump, you can attack blocks and other things in high places. For example, if, if you punch a panel from below, you can knock, some, uh, knock off something sitting on top of it. Oh yeah, you can use the spring jump in battle too. See, so see you next time, I guess. And good luck on your quest. So we are supposed to do this. It takes a lot less time to set up spring jump, and that is very nice. Normally you have to wait a second before like it lets you charge up, but no, this is very quick. Yeah, that's barely any time. That's a nice change. So then we go here. Do that. Knock it down. Why does it look like I can, like, go in there? Oh, well. The tube. Guess not. This is the same office room, so Toadette would have said the same thing. Or Goombella. Jeez, why did I say Toadette? This is Riverside Station Garbage Dump. Talk about an annoying place to navigate. And it smells like rotten goom nuts. It's amazing how much people throw away. Time to head back up. Yes. A total of 10 damage with my jump. Mario is unstoppable. Except against Prince Mush. Prince Mush has a defensive six. Piercing Hammer might actually be a good idea. Sadly, multi jump won't help me. There is one way I can make this work that I that I know of, and make sure they don't attack. Power lift. There we go. And attack plus four. Now, ooh, Gump. Come on. You must summon your friends. Do it. There we go. That's how you do it. So it's, it's a lot of FP to spend, but... Hey, it was kind of cool. And we got rid of them all. This is why Oogump is really good. No, seriously, if I equipped a uh, partner, uh, you know, power plus partner, oh my god. <laughs> okay, since I made the mistake of not jumping, I'll do that. 
They won't attack me, so what I'll do is I'll get Bobbery out here. And we'll just save the FP. Oh, wow! Extra defense! I totally need it, guys. I totally need it. What a waste. I have so much attack power. <laughs> Don't need the drudge room. Go up here. That's a very strong spring. Escape Gumbella. Want her to tell me about the scenery. We're on the outer stairs. It's nice to step outside the station and get some fresh air. Hey Mario, can we just take this killer sunset for a while before our next bad guy appointment? That doesn't sound too bad after all. Let's just walk on over to where the sunset. Oh yes, just take a deep breath. Look at the sunset and you realize you gotta blink because your eyes are burning. You, you shouldn't stare at the sun, it's too bright! You're hurting your eyes! Time to leave. Let's make a save. I'm checking something, hold on. Everything should be working fine, yeah. I don't know why, there was a part of me that was like, is my mic even working? Is this one of those cases where the mic says it's on, but it's working, but no, it's working. Don't know why, there was just that part of me that was like, are, are we sure? It's like the whole idea of like, did I leave the stove on, even though you know for a fact you never even turned it on in the first place? <laughs> you know, something like that. Whoa, Mario! What are these things doing here? They're disgusting! Let's hurry up and chase them off so we can find the switch! We're inside the Riverside Station. So, oh, it's this, technically the same room. Okay. Is this song new? Or is it a remix of an existing song that was played during this in the GameCube? I'm not sure, but I like it. Get out of here, you freaks. There's just too many of them. I gotta get rid of them all. There they go. Now they leave. And they face through the wall. All that just to boot up the stairs right here. To a major switch. There we go. And you can see the where we were just at over there. And we got the drop it bridge lowered. See, this wasn't that bad. This, this is simple. There's nothing going to be chasing us down. Except for maybe more murder mysteries. Actually, it's not murder, but still more mysteries on the train. Oh, right. Here we go. We got a close call P, which isn't that like my third one? No, I think it's time to leave. Thanks a lot, Mario. Now we'll get you guys rolling. The day is just passing you on by. Hurry, all aboard, everybody. Have a good trip. Seriously, is there like a town, like a nearby town for him to stay at? Because he just stands here all day. There's nothing nearby. Yo, G Money, it's me, King K, your bud from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me. How you doing? Were you off KOing fools left and right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. I gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay. You fired me up good. 
So what? Are, so are we ever gonna chill again, or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful. Next time you uh, you front on the King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real, King K. All aboard! Ready to hop on? Actually, no, there's one thing I forgot to do. Hold on. This is Riverside Station. It's one of the places where the excess express, express stops. This place is famous for its scenic beauty. It's, sun, it's the sunsets, you know? Just one more of the many pleasures excess express passengers get to enjoy. That's a Riverside Station worker. This is where they refuel the excess express. I wonder what... Oh, it's the same conductor. Okay, I get it. Alright, now let's move on. Let's go! And we are off again to Poshley Heights. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers, thank you for your patience. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. Well, uh, not much to do. Let's see what everyone has to say. Actually, I should. Oh, okay, good, you're already, you're already here. I'll be in Poshley Heights tomorrow. I feel sad that I won't see you after that. But please do come visit. I won't be going anywhere. But it's late now. Good night. Let's we'll see what everyone has to say. And we'll stop by Pennington last. Let's hope there's not a late night mystery on our hands. When we hit Poshley Heights, I won't be able to eat this amazing, uh, this amazing excess express chow. How depressing. Okay, cabin two. What does Toodles have to say? Or totals? I'm pretty sure it's totals. We're finally going to arrive in Poshley Heights tomorrow. About time, I should say. But that is it for now. That, but that is for tomorrow. Now is beauty sleep time. Late nights cause wrinkles. R late nights cause wrinkles. Okay. And Zip Toad is no longer here because it was dupeless the entire time. Does the engineer have anything new to say? Going to Poshley Heights tomorrow. How was your excess express experience? I guess I don't even have to ask. You know why, sir? Because the excess express is fabulous. Ugh. Man, I just remembered something. Yeah, I remembered about this one. Oh, we couldn't we couldn't actually get any of these until we got the third upgrade. That's okay. So maybe that was the same thing with the hammer. We needed the third upgrade. Okay, let's go see what's going on in the dining car. Welcome, welcome. Today's dinner is the mushroom full course. Hey, but in my opinion, even though the chef is all good and all, he always seems to be able to cook with mushrooms. Hello. The mushrooms in tonight's dinner are, were just picked at Riverside Station. Boy, are you really sure those aren't poisonous? I mean, most of them were uh, dried shrooms. Come on, open the door. We'll talk to Pennington last. evening to you. Tomorrow's the day that our big deal goes down. I've checked the contracts. All that's left is to get a nice big breakfast tomorrow. On the expenses of, on the expensive count, of course. Hey, mister. So, um, so, um, my mom and da my dad, they said they're gonna get me a train set when we get to Poshley Heights. 
I can't wait. 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 So excited. Hello, Mr. Gonzalez. I heard all about your present for little bub. You gave him the engineer's autograph, didn't you? I wish we'd thought of that. Go, Bob, and I would so like to please him on his big day. Meanwhile, who knew my little bub liked train so much? Perhaps I will get him a solid gold train when we get to Poshley Heights. A, a, a train set. Okay. Oh, Detective Mario. I guess we owe you again for getting us out of Riverside. This is your last night on the train, but please have a good, good one, all right? Paynton. They knew. Well, I will finally get home tomorrow. It has been a rather long time, to be honest. But the hour has grown late. You should get some rest, Luigi. It has been a long day. Well, nothing new. Let's go and sleep. Woohoo! Tomorrow's finally Poshley Heights Day! We gotta get the Crystal Star before th those other goons, no matter what. Let's catch some Z's before the big day, huh? And yeah, nothing else to do, so. Come on, rest. Hey, Cindy Harris, how's it going? Just, uh. Let's see. We are on day three, on our way to Poshley Heights. Uh, morning of the new day, I love it! It's so cool and brisk, too. I love that. Let's see what people have to say about this new day before arriving at Poshley Heights. Ooh, but we first got a mail. Oi, Mario, how's your stash? Life on the island feels great. When the sun rises, I wakey-wakey. And when it sets, I tuck in for, for snoozer time. Perfect for a simple bloke like right me, right? Every every now and then, I lose I lose Fabio stops by and spits out some bit bit of drivel about treading treading water instead of seizing life, but I just tune them out. So you're off on another adventure. I think that just suits you best. Give them all give them ooligans, what for and save their, your princess from the patch. How do you get reception? I am doing fine. Uh, as much as I would, like, I'm gonna go till about three, somewhere between about three and three thirty my time, so another, another two-ish hours, because I got yard work to do. But, we will at least be able to finish this chapter. Ooh, tools is not here. And we already know, we already know, uh, Zip T, or Zip Toad was a fake, so he's not here. Let's go see what's going on here. Oh, well, I mean, they, they, they must be in the dining car. Yeah, what's going on your on your end? What's going on on your end, Sydney? Oh wait, no, the ghost. Come on. I would love to see my stream. Really? It. I think you showed up like right when I ended yesterday, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, that was just. That was just the time, bad timing, wasn't it? There's a large sanctum in Poshley Heights. The picture on display there is so big, it looks like you could just jump inside. We're a full-time streamer. Just like... I stream Monday through Friday, so I, 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 I can't say I make a living off it, but I do stream Monday through Friday. Man, no one's here. Except the shop owner. But he's asleep on the job? Hmm, that's weird. And not much going on, huh? Well, it's all good. I'm assuming you played Paper Mario, uh... I, I'm assuming you played Thousand Year Door before, right? Uh, what Paper Mario games have you played? Where's Pennington? Uh... Personally, I've only played the first four Paper Mario games. Ending with Stickered Star. I look like Jonah Hill. Oh, no. There's no one here. That's weird. 
Is it the beard? I think it's the beard. Not opening. What's the deal? Door should open. Hmm. Well, there's only one place left to check. That's the engineer. Oh yeah, uh, I have not played Color Splash or Origami King. I feel like I should stream them at some point, maybe as like a first playthrough. But man, Sticker Star, Sticker Star really just like disappointed me to no end. Haven't played any Paper Mario games, just love to watch them. I see, I see. Well, Thousand Year Door is a great recommendation, as well as the first game actually. I wish the first game got a remake, but I'm so glad this one did. I look like I'm British. Hmm. Don't know why. Is it the teeth? I think it's the teeth. Ah, oh, good morning, sir. It's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Hmm? Is there something on the windshield? Yarg! What are these things? Whoa, aren't those things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. Whoa, what? Sh 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 should I d d d d d d d d do? Uh, f f first we have to ensure the, 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 the passengers are safety. B b b b b I have to keep driving the tr 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 train. M m Mario, c c can you check out the rest of the tr 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 train for me? That's the best I could do with stuttering. It's not that great, I assure you, but, you know, it's the best I could do. We, okay, no, it's just my thing, so. We're being raided by little fluffy things. They're not fuzzies, though. Yeah, I've been playing Thousand Year Door more or less when it came out. Was able to book, uh, rent it out, borrow it from friends, you know, that sort of thing. Eventually, I got my own copy. Wolf of Wall Street. I have never seen that movie. I have never seen that movie. I, people reference it a lot. I feel like I need to watch it. Oh no, more of these things. Smork, 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 smork. These little monsters are inside the train now? Let's get them. Clear them out. Get out of here. Just because I bashed your kind with a hammer yesterday doesn't mean you can uh, jump the train. Have watched it. I, yeah, there's a lot of things I need to watch. <laughs> I, I bet there's a lot of movies that I haven't seen that people are like, how the hell have you not seen that yet? And so, I don't know, I just haven't seen it. Uh, Detective Mario, you saved us again. Hey, I, I must have taken, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come in from? Wait, they still have the other paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. We must follow them. Oh, I need Gumbella out here. What type of movies do I like? Oh, let's see. Uh, I do watch a few different things. Uh, one of my favorite movies, though, is Hot Fuzz. You know, from Edgar Wright. Actually, most of Edgar Wright's movies I, I really like. The only one I haven't seen, though, of his is Scott Pilgrim. I need to watch it. This is the train's roof. Look at the scenery just go whipping by. Wow, sir. Look, this is no time for me to be describing stuff. These guys are so annoying. They're flippy and floppy and gross, and I hate them. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, just keep going. There's a lot of them. Can I really clear them out this way? I don't know. But yeah, no, Hot Fuzz is seriously one of my favorite movies of all time. It's one of those movies where the jokes are great, and every time you watch it, there's always something you miss, and you discover something new. Shaun of the Dead's pretty good. I just watched Baby Driver, like, the other month, and that's a really good movie. I'm Washington State, Cindy. Washington State. Do I even need... Smorg! No, they're forming into one giant smorg.
What is that gross thing? No. Uh, Mario, look! It's got the other passengers! Help! Fuck! Oh, watching Hangover series. So I, I still haven't seen that. I feel like, uh, isn't that like three movies? I feel like that's one of those series where it probably should have just been one movie. Interesting remix. Okay, let's see what's going on. Tattle. Okay, that's a smork. Lots of smorks gather to create this huge monster. HP 50, attack of 5, defense is 0. It attacks it with weird tentacles. We won't do any damage to the main body unless we defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? May also take other forms that expose more of its gross body, but boost its attack power. Let's just hurry and beat the thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Three movies. Oh, they all. Yeah, there, there's just a bunch of movies I can watch. Okay, so I have five damage. Hold it. Multi bounce. Get out of here! can't be frozen. I highly doubt he could be uh, put to sleep. And he has one defense point. You know what? Let's test it out. Let's see if we can uh, put him to sleep. Nope. Okay, I figured. He has one defense. I think what we'll do is... Well, we'll just do it. That's fine. Yoshi is right now not... You live in California? Very nice. How's California going over there? Oh. They're gonna attack. Yeah, I'm not getting the timing right. Might need to heal. I don't think I have another life stream. Okay. Luckily, I can get rid of them with power. Uh, multi bounce. Are you okay. So I could whoop, rally wink. Actually, yes, I'm gonna rally wink first. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. I hear mixed things about California right now, but that's mostly like big city stuff, you know what I mean? But, yeah, uh, I've been to California a few times. Mostly to Disney, though. Okay, let's get Ugum in, and let's go ahead and power lift. Oh, thank you, my dude. Let's see. Power lift. Let's see. The plan. I don't think he'll regenerate right now. I don't think he'll regenerate. Okay, good. So what I am going to do is I don't... Yoshi's just going to have to attack normally. Let's save my FP and just do... I guess we'll just do a jump. Look at that. And then we'll ground pound. Easy. Any other games other than Paper Mario? Yes, I... Typically when I stream, I stream a more variety of stuff. Big progress has been made? Yeah, I know. Let's be honest, Act. There hasn't been much, uh... Not much actually happens, like, during this section. Like, honestly, day one takes up more time, I think. But yeah, uh, before this, I was playing Battle Network, Mega Man Battle Network 5. And before that, I was playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Did I get the game over? You mean from reading the... From reading the book? Yeah. I, I, I got the game over from reading the diary. Thank you. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? 
Yeah, I, I did I did read the diary. That's actually something I didn't know until watching like a Let's Play a few years ago. Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You saved my you shaved my life. No, stupid town of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along? We will soon arrive at, po arrive at Poshley Heights. Ready, ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Well, yeah, I do tend to play a variety of stuff, Cindy. What do I do for a living? I wish I could say this, but no, nah, it's not there yet. This is all I really do, honestly. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Hags. Please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the Excess Express. We finally make it. We finally made it, Gonzalez. Let's find that Poshley Sanctum place and that the professor was talking about, huh? I wish I could say I do this for a living, but no. I can't reliably say that. <laughs> We finally made it. We're at Poshley Heights. We're on Easy Street now. This is Poshley Heights Station. The Access Ex Express to Rogueport is here. This place is so upscale. It's like the polar opposite of Rogueport. You can tell that that movie stars and millionaires live here. It just reeks of cash. We have a bit of time until our next departure. Let's see what's going on here. Who lives here? I mean, we already know some of them that live here. Now that we're here, we'll purchase that birch birthday present for little bub. Hey, mister, I'm gonna get a train set! The coolest one ever invented! I could just I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps. I have a major customized channel. Uh customized panel. Uh so right now I'm currently getting a uh like a new logo and a, uh, oh, what was it? A banner soon. Currently got that in the works. Is that a, yeah, that's a secret. Secret back room? HP Drain P. How do the bomb, how do they get back here? I'm the only one that's cursed. How did they get through there? Yeah, currently I'm getting a logo and a channel banner made for me. But other than that, I'm, uh, I'd probably either have to try to save up when I can, or try to make things on my own. The business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Poshley Sta Sanctum. On the, expes on the expensive count, of course. As if you have to ask by now. Uh... Again, I, I'm not talking about hiring, but like, like I said, if it's just ideas, shoot, that's fine, but like, yeah. Welcome to my vacation home, you marvelous man. The train journey certainly, certainly was thrilling. Hmm. Anything else here? Let's see, what do we got? I do have a, uh, I now have a final design for, uh, the Scottbot character, and I can utilize that now, but I just need to find ways to, uh, utilize, utilize it. I'll put the Discord in here. Look, I'm all for, like, idea suggestions and all that but right now like let's just say the per uh the help that i'm getting is all i can really do right now when it comes to when it comes to uh stuff at the moment this is to the scottbot page i need to try to be more more social but there's that I, I need to try to be more social, I agree. 
but I'm, I'm, I, I'm antisocial. Anyway, I've heard Poshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. Yes, Shiver City. That's another reference to the first game. What's back here? Star piece. Sweet. So lovely house, eh? Yeah, sure. Take your time to soak in all the ma all of its majesty. I built it when, even in. I built it even the smallest details in mind, making every nook spe uh, special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around in outside too. I guess it's sort of fun to live here, but I can't eat snow cones, or make little snowmen, or go ice skating, or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what what you got until it's gone. Okay, wait a minute. So the train on top is the Excess Express. I think the train below it is the train from the first Paper Mario game. And thanks for the follow, follow Cindy. Thanks for the follow. Actually, you know what I should do? I should show, like, the Scottbot designs. You know what? Um, now that I think about it, let me show off, like, the Scottbot designs I have. Because they're finalized, more, more or less. And I can, uh... Let me go... Here. Because I can definitely... Uh, add these in. Hold on. So if I do that, can I... And give me a second. Because part of me is thinking of maybe trying to draw some like thumbnails on my own time if I get productive. Hold on. I think I can actually show it on screen. Just kind of. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. And then if I do this. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, let me go to. Grave. Should be open. Actually, it might be searching for specific pages. Hold on. There we go. That's the finalized image for Scottbot. Should be on screen right now, is it? Okay, no, it's behind. Oh, got it. There it is. There's the finalized in image for Scottbot. And I'm thinking of maybe trying to draw some stuff using this character on my own time if I get productive. Uh, eventually act, eventually. <laughs> when either I find the time to do it myself or get somehow get the money to do it myself. Or get someone else to do it, but yeah. I'll take a look at them, Cindy. I'll take a look at them. But yeah, that's the finalized Scottbot design that I finally got access to now. But yeah, eventually, I will do, I will do stuff with this. Anyway, uh... I, it will be utilized in this channel some way. If I could go PNG, probably. Yeah. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Let me swap back. Mario's asleep. He was bored of the he was bored of the finalized Scottbot design. Welcome to you. How do you like to buy some highly quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package costs fifty coins. Well, that's used for cooking, but I don't, eh, I don't have the space. 
Actually, hold on. I haven't been tattling. This is Poshley Heights. It's a relaxed town that positively reeks of money. There's a very nice hotel here, too. Wouldn't it be nice to stay there sometime? I'm just I'm some PNG ideas. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm thinking if I'm going to do emotes, it has to be... Most of them have to involve this guy. Boom! Yes. More explosions. That's the Toad's shopkeeper. They are selling files, fresh pasta as a souvenir. True to its name, Poshley Heights is serving up high-caliber noodles with a fitting, rich flavor, no doubt. Actually, what do the penguins from Silver Shitty have? Yeah, I... Shitty! <laughs> Shiver Shitty! <laughs> I can't speak. That's normal. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novi novelist. Really? He's related to Her Herringway. Okay. Animated emotes? I think I can only have, like, one animated emote right now. Maybe two. I'm not sure. Uh, but I do want to get some emotes at some point. Uh, he's... Now that he's used to uh, life here, he seems to be making the most of it, huh? What do the uh, what does Gimbo say about the others? That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Herringway, the novelist. Herringway's detective books have sold so well that he's bought a second house here. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's related to Her Her Herringway, the novelist. Moving from frigid uh, Shiver City to to uh, Toasty Poshley Heights seems to have irked him. All three of them are related to Herringway. Interesting. Yeah, right now, I think I can only have one enemy at Emo. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Poshley Heights is sure, sure is a place for the riches of the rich, huh? We're thinking of going to see Poshley Sanctum next. You know what? Before I go to the hotel, I want to see if there's an item shop. I want to put something in storage. I do think there has to be an emote evolving my hair across that got every ribbon in Pokemon. I feel like that has to be involved. May not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out. Like, really bad, eh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Care to join me, guy? That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He says he walks barefoot for his health. I wonder if I should try that. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. I say, no way, Jose, because it's a bit different every day, you know? I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. I have, like, no ideas for emotes, honestly, Sydney. Uh, the only ones I have is just, like, some sort of, I don't know, battle stance for raids. Some sort of lurking emote for people wanting to lurk. Yeah, that's all I got. I am not that creative. <laughs> and you never see another day just like today. So treat each day like it, like it is. Unique. That's Todia of Poshley Heights. She spends a lot of time thinking by the stamp fountain. She's actually re leading as a double life as the secretary of the Luigi fan club. Luigi has a fan club. Good for him. Why do you have these fish in the fountain? How do they live? They're pretty big fish. Does this fountain just lead to the ocean? Hey there, Poshley Heights is sure is nice and warm. Yeah, I really dig it here. Cold places make me sneeze. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He's totally fixated on the spot for some reason. I was thinking maybe he hops into the fountain on really hot days. But wasn't there a nasty old snapping nibbles in that fountain? Yes. Yes, there is. I just found it, Goombella. Poshley Sanctum is a rather famous building, eh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I could just stare at it all day, you betcha. That's a resident of Poshley Heights. He really, really likes the Sanctum. Really? I can't see where he's coming from. It is a nice building. Talk about an Eiffel, you know? And there's a Shine Sprite. So is there really no shop here? Because I was going to... Put something in storage. Hold on. But yeah, one thing I thought of now that I finally have a 
finalized Scott bot design now. Part of me thought of because I need to be productive in other ways. Uh, to maybe occasionally, if I want to be productive, is at nights if I'm in the mood. I just do like an art stream and draw like a, uh, I don't know, some sort of like thumbnail for like some of these streams that I have done, you know? Just to try to be productive. No camera, though. Bonjour, Monsieur de la Sache. Isn't the last at the reception desk magnificent? Magnificent. I shall stay here every night to tell the heart her heart is mine. I shall not tire. Uh. Uh, sir, if you like to stay here, I must ask you to stay on the other side. Wait, no, I want Goom I want Goombella. That's a hotel receptionist. If you feel down and out, you ought to rest here. This is the nicest hotel in a super fancy town. I bet they totally have great service. This this is not what I meant to do. Uh, can I get rid of an item? Is there something I can use up? I have a lot of super mushrooms. I think I could get rid of one. No, you know what? Let's. I can't get rid of the thunder rage. You know what? We'll get rid of a thunder rage. Park Tower would promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. Room for this, it costs 30 coins to stay here. This is the most spendy inn so far. And we're at the penthouse on the top floor. So we're paying good money for this. Top floor. Pretty small room, though. Some inn. But then again, everyone has, like, a tiny house in Mario, so it's fine. Yeah, I'll take a look at them later, Cindy. Again, just kind of looking for ideas, more or less. Did you sleep well, sir? We have set out a gourmet meal prepared by the famous Zest Tea on the table. And were you satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We will look forward to your next visit. I'll take a look later. Okay, we got an omelet meal. And that's what you get for staying here. You get rid of... I have three Thunder Rages. I don't need all of them. Shooting stars better anyway. Okay, since I got the omelet meal... Wait, sound gallery... Oh, right, um, because I attempted uh, Prince Mush. The battle music's here now. Okay, hold on. Recipe. Future one is stream. Uh, well, right now, the plan is, after this, is to go to Mega Man Battle Network 6, uh, go to Fire Emblem, Kingdom Hearts 2, Level 1, Proud... Or critical, I mean. So what did you need to make this? Mystic egg with horsetail. I still haven't found a horsetail. At least I don't think so. Uh, I just kind of stream a variety of stuff. So. Dragon Quest 3 is now another one to throw on my list. Is that it? That's it? Well, we can't get in. I don't know what to do now. Well, we tried. We can't get in. Is there, is there a way to the side? Did you break in through the window? I'm not seeing one. All right, read the note. Gone traveling, Sanctum Manager. No way! This is super weak! What do we do? Ah, it's my, it is my dear Luigi! What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Ah, uh, yes, Pennington! What? You live here? So you're the Sanctum Manager. I totally thought you were a detective. Well, yes. That is more of a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter. Shall we go inside? Well, yeah, the only other idea for streaming is if I feel like I want to be productive, and I got, like, a couple, like, hours or something, like, at night, maybe streaming, like, a... 
drawing thumbnail ideas just for trying to be productive, I guess. It's like, that's one of those things where I probably wouldn't schedule, you know? It's just like, ah, I got time, let's do it. Wee hee 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 hee! You are one step too late! We have the Crystal Star! Oh no, they actually got it before us! Hey, don't leave without me! <laughs> they literally broke in through the window. Oh no, we're too late! We gotta go after them! Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Hmm, uh -huh. yes, yeah, quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the Crystal Star in the Sanctum. In the Sanctum? Oh, <laughs> yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The Crystal Star is safe. Yes, quite safe indeed. This, the stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring, a fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a thief, such a theft. However, as to the co as the as to the location of the real crystal star, well, a sancti as sanctum manager, I am of course prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is. Of that, you could be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi, put uh, put use of those, put use. Put to use all the razor sharp, sharp sleuthing skills I've taught you. Make me plot proud. I can't speak, but that's normal for me. This is partially sanctum. It sure is spacious inside. Echo! 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 Does Pennington really live here alone? I bet it's hard to clean this place. That is a good point. <laughs> There's a lot to clean here. But luckily we have our uh, upgraded shoes. Also, thinking about it, the first game happened and Mario had an upgraded boots and hammer, and yet he left him back home. Why'd you do that, Mario? You could have been stronger when coming here, but you chose not to. Why is that? Nope, I'm good. Ah, dang it. <laughs> if I was playing on GameCube, that wouldn't have ever happened. With the GameCube controller. No. Let's see. Gonna go over here, over the right, and then right up here. Come on. At least I don't have to wait as long when charging that up. Now we'll go to Paper Airplane. Here, second floor, or second tile, whatever. What is in here in this item block? A mystery. We snaw. Ah, don't need that though. I don't need a mystery. I don't need a seahorse in my life. It's a good thing the shadow sirens can't get up here. They don't have super boots. Right into the painting. This is Luigi's mansion, after all. This is the part of par this is part of partially sanctum too. Exactly how does all of this work? Well, whatever. This must be the secret resting place of the Crystal Star. Based on his reactions, I say that even Pennington didn't even know about this. Let's go ahead and attack a boo. And they can't survive Mario's jump when it's 10 damage. Okay, Goombella, I need you to tattle. Let's see, that's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP 8, attack is 5, defense is 0. Its HP and attack are high, but they're, they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. I just realized the the music is completely normal. 
Aaron is sucking right now. Ah, it's it's all good. At least my internet's not having problems at the moment. That's normally what happens. I mean, it's weird. There's no remix for this section of the game. At least there was one for Riverside Station. I'll look at that. So let's see. Zero defense and eight health. Sadly, no one can really... None of my partners can beat them. And if I don't want them to attack, I guess I'll uh, rally them. There we go. Easy. Time to jump. Let's see. I might just clear out all the booze, but I'm not getting that... I'm not really getting good experience out of them. I'm getting good money out of them. Do we... and it's all good. It's all good, Sydney. It's all good. You do what you need to do. And just two XP. These, these aren't worth fighting. But, like... It is very quick, too. I don't know. And they're gonna get in my way. Uh, Mar Mario's just overpowered right now with all of his badges. I feel like I would want at least one more FP+. Plus. I could equip another HP plus if needed, but I don't even know if that's required. Dizzy Dial. Um, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need Dizzy Dial. Yeah, get out of my way. If I get one more level, will I be able to first strike these guys and get, uh, get rid of them immediately? Fireflower, again, this is too weak now. I don't need this. And I can buy shooting stars? That's the better item. Okay, there is way too many guys here. So we're going to go a different route. Come on, Bobbery. We're going to go Bobomb Blast. Get out of here. Let's ignore the crystal star, because, you know, I have priorities. I think I want to go this way? Or do I need to go to the left? Maybe there's reason to go both of those. Oh, maybe I have to go left. Okay. Or, I have to go right to then go left. Oh, a boo sheet. No thanks. I don't need that. Oh, it's a good thing I looked around. More shine sprites. And we're almost to the best badge in the game, clearly. We have spent the majority of the game as Wario. Now we have the ability to become Luigi. There we go. Yes, now I am true. I truly am Luigi now. No one can mistake me now. And one cool thing about this, we mix the two. We're Wa Luigi. Wa Luigi. Honestly. Uh, other than sports games, the most attention Waluigi has ever gotten. Let's stick with Luigi at the moment. We'll probably play as one chapter with... Uh, actually, no. Maybe we'll finish the game as Luigi. 
and then if we do any post game, we'll go Waluigi. And with that, that is the end of the chapter. For reals. Mario found the six crystal star hit. Mario found the six crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshley Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be, and where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answers, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Oh yeah, we actually have to go to Pennington. Okay. I forgot about that. I guess it gives you a chance to get the Luigi emblem, I guess. And it shines bright. Hmm, so that's where it was. Or, or nothing, nothing. I was just talk, uh, talking to my brain. All geniuses do it. Congratulations, congratulations, Luigi. You have found the real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, I rather fun as well. I'm sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. <laughs> Let's sail back to Roadport, old boy. Yep, and that's it. Now to see what Princess Peach is up to. We know the Crystal Star and Peach are at the same place, though. <laughs> what is the matter with you idiots? Falling for a fake Crystal Star? That's asinine! <laughs> Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. <laughs> so let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real Crystal Star. Uh, I'm gonna say... maybe? Uh, this mustache menace has nearly every Crystal Star now. They were mine. I, I think I better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Grotus, I think I better tell you something. What is it, fool? Mumble, mumble. What? Are you sure? Speak. No joke, dude. I mean, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, I'm positive, sir. Treason. Who's the traitor? Strange, isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. Right on cue. Oh, here we go. Actually, the last couple times I think they just teleported me in. Didn't have to just walk over there. Alright, let's see what Tech wants. Tech, what do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak to you. And I've also struggled with what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procre uh, procured has been analyzed, and something terrible is... No, I will not say, but I have found out everything about Sir Gross' plan. Gross' plan? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among the plans was the reason why you are being held here. According to the data... What do you mean we don't get to find out now? No, no way! That's impossible! I don't believe it! Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you're currently imprisoned is... This is the moon. The, the moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? Peach, last game, your castle was taken up to the upper atmosphere. The moon is not that far of a stretch. That is correct. 
That is unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. Inconsequential. I will like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech. I am the base computer. No one will know if you're escaped if I keep silent. Please do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Eek! Y you Tech, you miserable machine. We all know that what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in this end. In the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data related to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure. Like, nothing like this ever happens again. N no, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. Exnox. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Tech, no! Mal... Mail... Sent. Princess Peach... I... I... Uh... Mm. Deletion complete. Tech! <laughs> gah, 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 gah. Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast! How could you? Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worried about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. No! Gah, 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 gah. No, oh, what's going on? What's this role? What they have for Peach? I don't remember this version of the song. <clears throat> uh, uh, I've got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't going exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp. As usual. Your massiveness! We did it! The Magic Koopa Scouts found a suspicious underground chamber. It isn't... It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. <laughs> About time. Well done. This is where all it all turns around for me. Definitely. Hey, the Hammer Bros Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping tooth and nail in there. No problem. Direct me there. I'll bless us through. I'm Bowser, baby! Oh, Luigi's already back from his mission. If only he spotted Bowser sooner. He wouldn't do anything about it, but if only he spotted him sooner. Yes, another mission with Bowser! Let's go. Yeah. Yes, made it. Good. Oh no, I am tiny Bowser! Now I'm back to normal Bowser. Oh, now I can make it under here. That was not a part of the plan. But it worked out, I guess. 
But because of that, I missed out on being giant. Either way you look at it, there's like multiple exits. I don't know if this is the best outcome to be tiny. Probably not. But something different. Can we get a Paper Bowser game? I mean, we kind of do in the second game. Or I should say in Super Paper Mario. Kind of do. Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You could be more super. Please. No problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me. Look. Lord Bowser. On the wall. Behind you. Hello. Could it be? Oh, yeah. A crystal star. A vintage Bowser. <laughs> at last. We found one, and now we'll make it ours. Freeze, chumps. Grog, who's there? <laughs> don't tell me you don't know the famous Rock Hawk. You little punk weasel. You forgot these muscles? You forgot this hugeness? Don't ask me how, but you cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty level. You're good. Of course you don't... Cur course. Good don't count for squat in this biz, babe. My check belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hi, fella. Weak? Wait, what? Well, tell me something. You ever see a weakling do this? Hey... <laughs> oh, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a week old. Huh? The crystal star. Hmm. Eek! It's split in two. Oh no 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 no. Wait, hold the phone. My mighty Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's a flim flam, a fake. What? What are you saying? Use words I know. You, oh, uh, want the real one. The great, ugh, Gonzalez has it. Oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anyone named Gonzalez. Stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Crud, who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? Bowser has experience against fighting Mario. I think he just knows how to deal with a lot of jumpers. Just not, just can't deal with Mario. That's probably why he was able, easily able to defeat Rock Hawk. Well, we could do some cleanup. Oh. Mario, oh boy, check your mail. I say it's one, it's, I say that one is from the princess. Uh -huh. Mario, I know where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... By... <coughs> By cracking first cookies. The moon. The princess is on the moon, old boy. Smashing. But why in would her email be cut off? Hmm. Wait just a day. You don't suppose something's happened to the poor girl, do you? It's... Oh, hold on. How are you, Mario? This is Eve from Twilight Town. Remember me? After a, loss, after a lot of soul-searching, I found that I'm truly happy. I may not be able to forget the hard times or even completely remember them, but I've been thinking things over, and I believe that my, that my side past proved the way, paved the way to my current happiness. Is that deep? Anyway, I can't, think about, I can't think about that stuff all the time. The kids play all day, then they get hungry and cry and scream, so I'm pretty busy all day, every day. The kids would love to see you again, so please drop by next time you're in the area. Fondly yours, Eve. Let's get Gumbella out. And let's talk to Luigi. And guess what? 
Well, guess what? I found a rapturous ruins, bro. Yep, the a mar marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it was a really long story, but here goes. After journeying deep into Grimble Forest, I found the domed, rapturous ruins. Inside, everything was pure white. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said, said the boy's name was uh, Cranberry, and that, and that he'd wait for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle on my nose, and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled. All of a sudden, I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race, the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He told me that the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of the greed, they were cursed by the compass, and their empire collapsed. To prevent the repeat of the fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He had six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke him. I was that hero, bro! He gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added that piece to the compass, it pointed to the far north, where a dreaded Hate Song Tower stands. This time, I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super. And then I'll... 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 Well, I'll figure out the rest later. Anyway, I head back here to Rokeport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro. But that's what I've been up to, anyway. Probably Alright, let's see what you have to say. I'm screaming. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. That's Luigi's pal, Screamy. Screamy creeps me out. I never see anyone like that. Where is he from? Well, okay. Let's do some cooling up. Now that we have the new shoes, let's go get that big treasure chest. We'll probably go to the Crystal Star Room. So, let me get that started, but we won't... I don't think we'll be tackling the next chapter today. We got the Ultra Hammer. Hi, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like with the super hammer, so no problem. Hold down B and rotate like normal, and then release to use your ultra hammer. Remember to twist a lot before re releasing B, okay? So it's nothing new. It's just you have a better hammer. Way to go! You got it! Are you clear on the controls? Yep. Alright, you've mastered the ultra hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break the bigger things, okay? And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, in battle too. Um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And, and be careful on your quest, okay? Aw, poor Toad Dad. That's it. That's it for Toadette. And unless they bring her back in post-game or something. Alright, let's go to the Crystal Star Room. We'll do that first. <clears throat> but since we're taking the shortcut... Let's go break this block. It's probably just a Shine Sprite. Oh, no. No Shine Sprite. Hold on. FP+. Plus? I might throw that on. But for now, let's go ahead and get the Crystal Star room going. Uh, 
And we can finally do a lot of cleanup. We have every upgrade. At least for Mario, you know. We still need more shine sprites for our partners. Everyone's here. One more, and we know it's on the moon. We already know that. We already know the Exonauts already have it. I'm so I'm still not used for the Crystal Stars to still be on, on the map. one. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Whoa! No way! What's wrong with that map? The last crystal star is... That ain't right. I mean, we already knew Princess Peach was being held in the moon. Hmm. What this map indicates is true. The location of the final crystal star is... The moon! The moon? That's where Princess Peach is stuck. Yeah, remember? Seems suspicious, huh? Hmm. The problem here is... How does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Hmm, looking into this may take a little little time, so come back in a bit, alright? I think you could just leave and come back in, but... Oh. What's up, Super Sleuth? I heard you've uncovered my imposter. You're the best, man! Seriously. I like how it says verified there. <laughs> See, when you get to be as big as a star as Zip Toad, these sorts of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But, in, but man, alive. For a no-name like you to brave danger and find my imposter reminds me of a younger, less successful me. Yeah, so as far as for me, I'm headed to Toe Town to film my next lo uh, leading role. The soon-to-be hit film, On Golden Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge! I hear you'll, you're on an adventure or something, so I'll leave you with the line from my last flick. The Toad Warrior. You're, uh, you're cool, baby, but I'm cooler. Best of luck, kid. The superstar, the real zip toad. And look, it's, it's uh, Junior Troopa. That was his name. Yeah, he's a cameo. He was still a cameo in the original as well. All right, so we got clean up because of our extra hammer and jump boots, and we got some troubles. What do we got? Four more? Okay. We could probably do all those. I'm looking for something. Can't say exactly what here, but I can tell you in person. I'll be waiting on the west side of Rockport. You do me this favor and I thank you with a member's card for the Pianta Parlor. Yeah, let's go ahead and set up this Frankie side quest. Wait, how many shine sprites do I have? I have eight. I know where one is because we. It was where the pink spinny eye was. And I couldn't get it because I didn't have my upgraded boots. We have. Uh, I better get. I better buy this. There we go. Going here, we can buy Super Luigi 3. I need to store stuff. I'm out of items. I should fuse to I should fuse these. Let's throw the honey mushrooms in, because I don't need them right now. I'll keep this and use it. I'll throw this in, I don't need it. I might use that. The 
run in. I'm running out of storage. We'll leave it at that. Alright, I'll check the badge shop, shop later. Let's go find Frankie. He's on the west side somewhere. I think he's just in his, uh, in his room. Oh, she, he's not here. Ricky and I are going to keep the Pianta family syndicate together. And maybe we'll start our own family. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> okay, not what I meant to do. Maybe he's in the parlor. Yeah, he might be in the parlor. Oh, it's Don Pianta. Hey, it's you again. It looks like we kind of owe you one. So, yeah, thanks. Yeah, he's just hanging out in his parlor. Where's Frankie? Said west side of town. Oh, there he is. You taking my trouble? Well, I'm glad it's somebody tight lipped. That's all. See, after returning from Keyhole Key, I lost my wedding ring. Re wedding ring. Believe that? And I can't really look for it in front of Francesca. So you gotta find it. I know I lost it after I got back to Rokeborn, so it's somewhere in town for sure. If she finds out, I'll be yelling, I love you, a billion times. So you gotta do this. So it's somewhere in Rokeborn. Let's go check the docks. He doesn't... I don't think he explores that much, so I'm pretty sure it's at the docks. Let's see. And he's back. Um, I think I want to hold off on talking to him for a little bit. I think I want to spend my money first. Where's the ring? Is it not here? Maybe it's on the east side. Because I think you just find it. I don't think talking to anyone is actually going to... I actually don't remember where it's at. Let's check the other side, though. Maybe it's over here. I don't know why he would be over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Maybe it's on the east side. Yeah, I think I'll spend my money first, and then I'll talk to him. And I would say that definitely if you're playing the GameCube version. I don't know if that's actually a worry here, though. Let's check, let's check the east side. Let's see. Where is this ring at? It doesn't look like it's back here. Wait, did I? There it is. Why is it up there? There's no way he would purposely go up there, right? Did someone take it and just hide it up here? There it is. Like, why? What is the point? Why is it there? I don't think he lost it. I think someone took it. Somehow. Oh yeah, I should do some cooking very quick. Right, Frankie's over here. You found it. My ring. Thank you, Mario. From the bottom of my heart. Now, take this reward. We got the gold card. Now we can play the tube mode game. I haven't even been able to. I haven't been able to look at her in the eye lately. I kind of miss her now. So if you excuse me. 
simple request. Not that hard. You know, let's take care of the cooking now, or now that I have it in my mind. Try to clear out some space. Let's get the super mushroom and honey syrup. And yes, this is a different item. See, we got a honey super. Not as great, but you know what? I already have them. Might as well just fuse them. Make the syrup. Eventually, I'm going to need to use my jam and jellies if I wanted to get every recipe. Nope. Not going to do that. Alright. Cleared some space. Let's go... Uh, accept another trouble. And then I think I'll go to the bad shop. Okay. I need some ingredients for cooking food that ravages the senses. I need three things. A golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. I'm waiting on board the XX Express for your prompt help. All right. I remember, now I remember this quest. Okay, we're gonna be doing some traveling. Luckily, I already have a Keel Mango. I still have it. The Golden Leaf is in Creepy Steeple. I could have grabbed another one when I was over there, but oh well. And the Mystic Egg, we never gotten, but we know it's at uh, Bogley Woods. <laughs> I already knew I needed another Keel Mango, f mango for something. I already knew that. I, I just couldn't remember what. Alright, let's check the bad shop very quick. I want to use up my money. Okay, what do we got? Shrink Stomp. FP Drain, Happy Flower, Unsimplifier, Attack FX, R, sure. Sounds Bowsery. I like the sound of that. Let's see. We'll buy one Simplifier just to have. I guess we'll leave it at that. Now let's go talk to... Uh, I forget his name, to see if our investment worked out. Ah, uh, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? I... I... I did it! I totally struck oil! There were times where I was covered in dusk, dust, weak and ready to give up, but, but, but I never lost sight of the dream, and one day, I finally seized it. And you believed in me th all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with a little more than just, a little more just to show my appreciation. Please take this, 999 coins. So they increased the cap. That's good. That's what I was worried about. GameCube version, the cap was 999. Boy, thanks for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let my dream, let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. And also, I uh, kept a journal of my trip. Do you want to read it? Oh, I forgot this is a thing. Uh, maybe later. Maybe I'll save that for later. Right now, let's just take care of the troubles. Oh, he's done his research. Now go check. Huh. Okay. I thought it was leave, come back in, but no, it sounds like you have to go a few screens. Interesting. Let's get this to activate. Now, this is a warp pipe that was in the original game, so it's not nothing new.
down. All right. How about... Actually, before we start this, let's go get that shine sprite that I wasn't able to get. The one where... King Spinia. There we go. Then we'll go to Creepy Steeple and we'll go to Boggly Woods. Boggly Woods would be faster. So we might do that first. You know, now that I'm thinking about the beginning of chapter, of this next chapter, and there's a big backtracking bit there, I actually don't think it's going to be as bad as it used to be. Now that I'm really sitting here thinking about it. We'll see when we actually go through it, but it might not be as bad as it used to be. I still have to fight this guy. Yeah, I'm still not strong enough for him. For a one-hit KO. Alright, first... I guess we'll multi-bounce. Bobbery. Kaboom. Kaboom! And that is another level up. I think it's time for more badges. We have reached 60 badge points. Is that the cap or is there more? I don't know if there is a cap. We'll find out. We are now an A-list star. Now we can have an even bigger crowd. There we go. There's one shine sprite. So what can I get? Also, let's swap these out. So I could have an FP plus. I could have another one. Let's see. I could, let's see. Oh, why would I want that? I could unequip Heartfinder and then equip another defend plus for more defense. It looks like I could have more BP, so I don't think I need to worry. I only have one power plus. Yeah, let's get more FP. Having more FP is just very useful for my build. I use a lot of FP and we're running low a lot lately now that we have bigger spell casters, basically. All right, we'll do the tattle or, or trouble. Why do I we'll go to Boggly Woods and then we'll go to Creepy Steeple. I knew I needed the Keel Mango, but I completely forgot I needed the other two items. Alright. Over here. Now let's continue the trouble. Luckily, even when you're playing the GameCube version, the egg and the keel mango are easy to get when you use the warp pipes. It's the golden leaf that takes a while. So now we need to go back in here, back in the tree. Okay, and we need to talk to Petuni. Oh, Punio's always getting in trouble with the Elder. It's not fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario! Can't you play with me instead? Sure, kid. Yes! Okay, okay. This is so awesome. Ready to play Stump Petuni? You ask me any question you want, there isn't a question I can't answer. Come on. 
for an easy question that she can answer. Okay. Mario likes which person? The most, I guess. The person Mario likes the most? Tee -hee. You know that. I know that. You can't stop the patoony. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. Tee -hee -hee. Am I right? Tee -hee. Yes, I'm right. See? Petuni knows the answers to everything. Oh, ho, that was fun. Thanks for playing with me. Here's the present. Mystic Egg. Um, yeah, so that's how you get Mystic Eggs. It's very easy. Very easy to get. Keel Mangoes is on Key Hall Key. First room after, uh, like, the main hub. Just, like, hammer a tree. And then we gotta go get the golden leaf. Thanks to this warp pipe making it a lot faster. And with this new warp pipe that makes it go even faster than normal, it saves a ton of backtracking. Just a lot of backtracking. This game has horror stories of backtracking. Alright. Okay. So jump up here. Through the door, up here. Ah, dang it, we got in the battle. I didn't get the first strike. Can I even... I can't hit them. Uh, can anyone hit them? Stampede works? I guess it causes an earthquake of sorts? Okay, that doesn't make sense to me, but it worked out. I guess because it causes an earthquake effect, maybe? That is my only guess. I mean, there are a lot of Yoshis there. Go all the way over here. I forgot the sound effect. There we go. Alright, heading back. That's all the items. Now we go onto the train. Yeah, if I knew ahead of time, I probably would have grabbed two. Or if you couldn't grab two, then when I was doing my backtracking earlier, I would have grabbed another one. This just saves on so much backtracking. That's why I think Chapter 7 isn't going to be as bad. Alright. Now we need to go to the... Go to the train. Let's -a go. I'll buy badges later. But I think I should go to the badge shop and just buy anything I don't have. I do think they restock on badges. Here and there. Even ones you already have, so I don't think it's worth just buying them out. Yeah, we got a board to Boshley Heights. Can I skip this? Yes, I can. 
That's not something you could do on the GameCube version. At least I don't think so. What? Which do you prefer, curry or stew? Sorry, I guess I, that's a weird question to ask. Anyway, me, I like curry. Took a while, but that's the conclusion I've come to. Who the... I don't remember you at all. That's a passenger on the Excess Express. Not to change the subject, but watching your health ab abroad is super important. You won't want to get sick and spoil the whole trip, would you? That... I don't remember that Yoshi being there. Hello. Oh, yes, hello to you. Thank you for accepting my request. I need three ingredients. Golden leaf, a mystic egg, and a keel mango. Each one has exotic taste and, and aroma that will enhance my mushroom dishes. Have you found them for me? That shiny gold leaf. This is, this is it. Thank you so much. Or thank you much. That puzzling mystic egg. This is it. Thank you much. That colorful keel mango. This is it. Thank you much. Now that I have all the ingredients, they call to my palate and my skill, begging me to turn them into de delicacies. Thank you much, my friend. T this is your reward. All that for 40 coins. I'm so glad they increased the money cap. Alright. We're stuck on the train, though. So, go back to your cabin. Then, let's see. Come on, let me rest. Tell Poshley Heights. I just remembered something. Uh, I might need to take the train back. <laughs> I think I need to take the train back. You see, I didn't take the warp pipe to Poshley Heights. So I don't think I could take the warp pipe back to Rogueport. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I think you have to use the warp pipe first. And I forgot to do that. And we're gonna find out. I don't think it was here. I think it would be at the Sanctum. Uh, oh no, it's already here. Okay, that's good. Sir... Okay, no. Alright, it's already here. That's good. I, I thought you would have to go through it once just for it to register on the other side. Alright, we got two more troubles. What's the next one? I lent a magazine to Miss Jolene, and now I need it back, and rather quickly. Please meet me at my vacation home in Poshley Heights, would you? You rum wonderful trouble solver. If you return my magazine to me, I'll thank you with the member's card to for the Pianta Parlor. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, more backtracking if this was GameCube. Let's go to the bad shop very quick. Let's just buy every badge that I don't have one in. Okay, what do I not have? I don't have this. I don't have this. don't have this. Two, one, 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 one. FP drain. I don't have that. Okay. 
I guess I'll save my money then. I bought every badge that I don't have from the shop. Do you have anything new? Slow go, I don't have that. Mega Rush, I don't have this one. There we go. And he'll cycle through later. It might just be items now. Alright. So we need to go to Poshley Heights. And normally, the fastest way to Poshley Heights is to go to the warp pipe. At least I think that would be the fastest way. You know, all the text that you need to go through to get on the train than rest, you know. It's a lot faster to do this, I think. Like, even in the GameCube version. All the way back to the front area. Here we go. Alright. So you accepted my request for aid with my little trouble. You delightful man, you. I just decided I very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. But she lives in Glitzville, and that is very far from here, as you know. Could you get it for me, you resourceful wizard, you? Jolene should be the promoter in, in the promoter's office at the Glitz Pit. Thanks, you're fabulous, dear. Yeah. So if we were playing GameCube, now you would need to run all the way back to the warp pipe that we're doing now, get to the top, get to the surface of Rogueport, and then from there you need to take the blimp to the Glitz Pit, or to Glitzville, and then go all the way to Jolene. Whereas now, you just do this. It's that fast. This saves so much time in backtracking. Alright, let's go visit Jolene. Print oh right. I was thinking of fighting Prince Mush. Uh not I don't think I will today. Maybe we'll try Prince Mush again, beginning of next stream, maybe? Before chapter seven. I'm pretty sure he could be beaten. You know. He could probably be beating us for- Oh! I stand ready to match with you anytime. I'm not ready to surrender my title to you just yet. He earned his title, that's for sure. Mr. Lean's just inside. He definitely earned his title, that's for sure. Do you need something? Hmm, Toodles Magazine? Oh yes, I know the one. Alright, alright, I'll return it soon. Hmm? I have to return it now. But that magazine... Okay, fine. Give me a moment. Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed this magazine as a promoter. That's all. I needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I followed fads or anything. The wrestling magazine. Alright. It's all good. Let's head back to Toodles. Again, you would have to take the the blimp all the way back. Back to Rogueport, and then you have to go into the sewers to get to the warp pipe. And there was no fast travel to the warp pipe room. You had to go the long way around. Either from the west or the east side. It's just that this saves so much time. Alright. Almost there. Done with this one, and then we got one more to do. Hi, right, Molly. What's going on? Uh, 
Did you get the magazine from Jolene, you wonderful man, you? Yes, this is the magazine I lent to Jolene, all right? You are a true hero. Thank you. Here's my thanks to you. We got the platinum card for the boat game. This magazine is very popular among some certain ce celebrities. Everyone who has an anyone who is anyone, everyone who is anyone, has been spotted in a cafe with it under one arm. There we go. Couldn't you just buy another? Uh, maybe it's out of print. But does it matter that it has to be that re wrestling magazine? I don't know. But we got one more trouble. saying that, but it's, this is just how backtracking works. I still wish I could just accept multiple t uh, troubles at the same time. Alright. I forgot the code to my briefcase. I'll be, I'll be sacked for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Well, it's not the worst backtracking. It's not the worst. But I think I already have an idea of what this is going to require. Because I don't think this is just a quick... Just a quick thing. If you don't know what you're doing anyway. Which I don't remember if I remember if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Off to Glitzville. Again! Stand. Here we go. Ah, you're, you're that fellow. So, you're the one who ex that accepted my request. Well, here's the thing. I forgot the code to, for the lock on my briefcase. And the prototype for our company's new product is inside. This is a big deal. If I don't figure out how to get into that briefcase, I'll be sacked for sure. About that briefcase code. See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, like anything you could sit on. I use the number of chairs in the houses I've visited on business as the code. Don't judge me. I know it's weird. You gotta visit those places and count the chairs. The code has four dis digits. So our, here are the locations of the chairs. Ready? Coop's house in Petalburg. Flurry's house in Boggley Woods. Don Pianta's office. Toodle's house. I counted the sweet, sweet chair in her lovely garden. Uh, you know, you could just look it up. I could just look it up right now and save the backtracking trip. First, it's Coops. Coops' house. Actually, if I look at... Oh, first of all, sound gallery. I have this. There we go. Um, do I have... Yeah, notes. Trouble Center. Uh, it does. It did not update. It did not update. That's not good. All right. I see one, two. I see two chairs here. Two here. Then we need to go to Flurry. We might skip Piantas. 
Because that requires me going all the way up top, and I don't want to do that. If you were playing GameCube, because you have to take the blimp, you could easily stop by the Piantas place. You know, before checking out some of these other areas. But now that I don't even need to head up there, we might just look for three numbers. And then guess the final one. <laughs> Off to Flurry's house. Turn to paper airplane. Don't you dare try to attack me. Alright. So, two, and then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say four. How many chairs? Um, I'm guessing... Hold on. You know what? I never went... We didn't go in a room before. I could have done this. Oh, and a can canopy and a bed? I'm so jealous. Ugh, I died to have one. And all the furniture here is so stylish. It's, like, tearing me apart. Interior decoration is all about balance, and this place has got it. What's in this? I could have gotten this. Okay. Nothing too drastic. So, there's two out there, there's two here. Do we count the stools? Are stools chairs? And these are more couches. Are, are these chairs? I'm gonna say yes. So, it's either two, four, or six. I'm leaning towards six. Maybe the stools count, and if they... Oh, wait, if I'm already guessing... Maybe I should stop at Don Piantas. Uh, I'm already not sure if stools count. I think they are. I think they do. Fine. Multi bounds. Get out of here. Quit wasting my time. Stupid clouds. Alright. Two chairs at Coop's house. That is a for sure thing. It's... I think it's either four or six at Flurry. This is the Paper Mario experience. Unless you just remember the code by heart. And again, it was worse. It was far, far worse. Uh, let's go to... Let's go to the office. I think there's two. I think there's two chairs in Don Pianta's office. And it sounds like he's not a part of the Pianta Syndicate because he had to do a, he had a meeting with them there. He had to go to them. So he works somewhere else. He doesn't work for the Pianta Syndicate. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Two chairs. Yeah, I only count two. So two, four, two, or two, six, two. And I 
again. I'm not sure if stools count as chairs. Oh, I just saw this. I probably miss a lot of shine uh, star pieces. I know I don't have any of the art gallery unlocked, but now I can actually uh, gather star pieces more efficiently. Now that I have Miss Mouse and all that. All right, uh, we need to go back to Toodles, Ashley Heights. Granted, if you knew you were gonna look for chairs because you were already going to Toodles, you could have easily kept track in your head. So it's, e so it's either 242 or 262. And then the final one, they count the chair in the garden. So there's one. Uh, four? Five? I, it's either four or five. Do you count the piano bench as a chair? Let's go two, six, two, five. We'll, let's count stools as chairs. And then you do sit in them, so sit on them, so that probably counts. We have your code. Okay. It was two. Let's go with six. Opened. Stools count. Thank you so very much. Maybe I could keep my job. I'll try to remember it from now on. Hold on a second. Imagine if someone just sold one of their chairs. It's not a good plan, my dude. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? What? Sorry. We were going to goodbye my company's favorite hot sauce. Uh, company's favorite famous hot sauce with this stand's hot dogs. We were going to call it the hottest dogs. I was sure it'd be hit. Huh? I shouldn't give up so easily. Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I'll have to convince the hot dog guy. I'm on it. I won't leave this place until I convince him. Well, wow, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. You get a bottle of hot sauce. It's my company's top item, our famous hot sauce. I have tons of the stuff, so just ask me if you want some. Okay. It's just a way to buy hot sauce for cooking. Alright. That is all the troubles. Let's try to do some cleanup. I can't think of many other places we can go with our new boots and hammer upgrades. Although I remember one. That's just so rude. That was very rude. Get out of here. Yeah, it's not gonna be a one hit KO until maybe two more levels. I didn't really want that, but okay. I still need to fight the Hammer Brother. I knew, I still need to fight him. Get out of here. Come on. I didn't do that because I know I would instantly win. 
Oh, I already tattled him. Never mind. Oh, duh, I did that at the Blitz Pit. Never mind. I thought I needed to tattle him still. Alright. There's another house we could go to. That's down here. We can exchange star pieces. We can power up partners. Oh, what else can we do? Oh, right. Uh, we can get this item chest. And a couple things we could do. Let's go grab this item very quick. Bobbery. All right. And what do we have in this chest that we saw throughout the entire game? Defense plus for your partners. It's okay. I mean, partner only run, then maybe. Take this, crawl all the way to the right. We can access this pipe that goes into that that house all the way back there. Don't remember what this is, honestly. Just a star piece? Is that all that's here? That's all this is. Someone lives here. Hold on. Is there anything else here? No, nothing here. Okay, Goombella, what do you have to say? We're down below Rookport. There's nobody here. Huh? I wonder where they went. Do we know who lives here? Do we ever find out who lives here? Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe just some random Goomba for all I know. Well, we got a star piece. I can't think of anything else that we can do other than star pieces and shine sprites. Oh, wait. I remember something. I remember uh, something I can do. It's on the east side. No, I am on the east side. The west side. I don't know if it leads to a star piece or not, but let's just exchange, exchange what I have. Okay, what do we want? I have, four, I have 14, wow. I'm saving up for that power plus. Another power plus, because why not? I, I need to be more powerful than what I already am. Clearly. And I will have the badge points to do it. Okay, I, I want to go over here. Nor you. Oh, damn it. I still got the super guard. Alright. Well. I think Hammer Brothers have defense. Yeah, they do. Alright. Bella? Give me another turn. Yeah, who needs partners when you could just have Mario take care of it? Okay. Yeah, I wanted to come here. There we go. That's what I wanted. That block we'll get to later, so I'm not worried about it. We get Flower Saver P. Okay. If I want partners to save FP. 
now I can't think of anything else to do other than shine sprites. Hmm. What else could we do? I'm pretty sure other shine sprites are just gonna be at the next area for chapter 7. Actually, can we buy anything more from you? Sure. I think I got all the badges from him now. If not all of them, I got most of them. Let's go power up partners, I guess. Who to power up? I can power up three. Let's start with Coops. I know exactly not to power up, that's for sure. There we go. Now he can deal four damage. Vivian. Honestly, just for the attack boost, not necessarily for the skill. Now, Miss Mouse or Flurry? I never use Flurry. I've tried to use her a few extra times, and I have with Gale Force, but I'll go with Miss Mouse. That is a heal. It's probably like a 20 HP heal. And for someone that ignores defense, she really has no attack power. So I think this will jump her up to four. So I think I'd rather have that. Honestly, I always power up Flurry last because I never use her. I really don't. <laughs> All right. I don't think... Oh, you know what we haven't done in a while? Let's do this now. Oh, I forget. Let's go see the lore. Is there any more tales for you to tell me? There is. Dragons and dungeons. The demon built a dungeon near its palace and filled it with terrifying monsters. All those who, all those who fell into disfavor, disfavor, were thrown into this dungeon to rot. Yeah, and the demon also had three dragon pets: Hooktail, Gloomtail, and Bonetail. Ooh. These dragons threw, flew across the land, spreading fear and sorrow all over all. The dragon's remains have never been found, and even now, some nervously wonder if they still live. Hey, Miss Ruby, how's it going? This is our... That... Mm... Is that promotion? I don't know. That seems like promotion to me. If there's another wish... How's it going, Miss Ruby? Uh, just kind of wrapping up. We're doing... Ooh, there's a few... Th few stories for this person to tell me. The Demon's Curse. The four heroes thought they have sealed away the demon and all of its powers. I'm doing fine. I'm actually getting close to wrapping up because I got some yard work to do, but I'm just trying to do some cleanup before doing so. But the demon used a tiny opening before the seal was complete to, tur to curse them all. While holding the crystal stars, they fear nothing, but when they let them go, a black chest would appear to seal their souls within. The four heroes traveled the world, scattering the stars to th so the seal would remain. 
but their last four stars each carried the curse, which claimed each hero. Each of those black chests that cursed us. They were the four heroes of a thousand years ago. The hiding place of many of the crystal stars have now faded into legend. But some say that the wise Goomba hid one in the great tree. At that time, many monsters wandered in the nearby Bogly woods. Tiny punies living in the woods were constantly tormented by the fierce monsters. Pitying them, the Goomba howled out of the great tree for the punies to live in. The punies were so grateful that they swore to protect the crystal star there. Yeah, I remember you were here. You popped up, I remember. Yeah, exactly. Once the Boo heroine hid her star in the steeple, she was trapped in the nearby town. Some say the crystal star lies in that steeple still. So the Boo... So the Goomba was in the tree. The Boo was in the near creepy steeple. And thanks for the follow, Miss Ruby. Thank you. The Koopa who went to the southern isle hid his star where none would find it. But the Koopa was so tired from his journey that the pirate Cortez stole it easily. In that very instant, the brave Koopa was trapped in an in inescapable chest. But Cortez did not realize the power of the star and lost it among his treasures. And one more. The Toad Hero's final days. The strong Toad held his star and continued his arduous journey. But eventually, the miles took their toll upon him, and he collapsed. A traveling healer happened by and saved his life, but the Toad knew his fate was to be trapped in the chest when the star was gone. So he asked this healer to hide the star in a secret place known to no one. So that star was the one that Grotus took. And it was in Rogueport. At the beginning, Grotus said he found one in Rogueport. And that chest was in the underground Rogueport area, so that lines up. Let's see. There are three more Shine Sprites, but they're probably in actual Chapter 7. We do need to talk to Frankly to move on to Chapter 7, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I think we've done a lot of the cleanup. Uh, let's see. Do you have any other badges? No, you haven't updated. That's fine. Let's check the badge shop very quick. Oh, oops. Okay. Anything that I am missing? Another fire drive. No, nope. I'm not missing any of these, so I think I'm good. All right. I th think we've done all the cleanup. I think we are about ready to start Chapter 7, and we'll do that next time. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see those streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. I should be able to stream for even longer tomorrow. So, we should at least be able to finish Chapter 7, maybe even finish up the cleanup after Chapter 7. Um, yeah, I, I just got some yard work to do, so I gotta end early. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Basically, when I boot it up tomorrow, we're gonna just work on Chapter 7. Oh, thanks, Miss Ruby. I appreciate that. Anyway, have a good day. Later.